say what you said while I go about the ghetto and the hood and stuff. That's where I'm from. I, I love Oak Cliff, Lindell, you know what I'm saying? So uh, I'll just use play music and I'll just race the music right up my head. I'll be playing all that sweet love and love, y'all. Hope that don't, hope that don't bother nobody. It'll break it right back up. Game yeah. ain't been good to me. Yes. 
And more than believing I deserve something beautiful, I choose to believe that I am something beautiful. Come on. Yeah. See how amazing that was? It's such a relief to get that off your chest. Like, people don't realize how hard it is to get up here on this mic and to speak your truth. Like, it's not easy. So we, we give a round of applause to everybody who comes up and spills their inner thoughts on this stage. Um, so I'm going to do another poem, and then we're going to call Jay to the mic, because he wants to do some more. Okay. This poem is called Conscious. Don't bat your eyes at me and tell me I'm free. In this white versus black society, I reside in the great propriety, seeking truth in between the entities of what I'm told and what I believe. Don't piss down my back and tell me it's raining. My third eye is open and I'm remaining conscious. Conscious of my surroundings, conscious of my history, and conscious of all that is me. Don't take my rights and expect me not to put up a fight. Don't steal land in history for me and then look down on me, you dummy. Material things never define me. That's why we are as strong as we could be. Our heart is pure and our soul is free. You conquered and I build me. And we multiplied the thought of adversity. So you will never reach the conscious me. Come on. <laughs> We're gonna call Jay to the stage. Let's give him a round of applause. Come on, baby, I don't want no flowers, you can keep them. Because at the end of the day, you're just gonna smell them and walk away. I'd rather be the water, the one that feeds you and see that you bloom. I'd rather be the soil and keep you grounded and let you know that we are connected to nature and the way. So here I am, wasting the, not wasting, but using the youth of my years at 23 instead of going and partying and drinking and smoking like all my other friends, toting guns, selling weed, selling dope, doing their thing. I'm keeping my head in the Bible stand meditated so I can be that cup of water that never stay full, that never overfills. Because I know my source comes from up above. Come on. I'm trying to let everybody else know that you can do the same too. Like my man right here. He gave me courage to come back up here because he said that I gave him courage. That's the type of water that I want to be. <laughs> Because I have the spiritual eyes, and when I see somebody is in thirst, I want to give them what they need. So that's what I am doing the things that God called me to be. Knowing the things that I'm doing right now, it may get me killed. You have to come out here and speak the truth and try to bring unity between the community. Yeah. But at the same time, there's no fear in me because I know back home is where I'm going to be. Come on. Come on, man, do a little better than that. Let me say this, this is his first time performing. This is the second point, first time point performing. So it takes a lot, it, it does. And, and it, if time. I didn't ask him, I wouldn't have known that this was his first time ever getting behind the mic. So again, I encourage, because we all have a story to tell at the end of the day. And you gotta understand, your story is going to help someone. Because it's a testament of what you've been through and what you made it through. Right? Yeah. It's her first time too. Also, the young lady that was on the mic, it was her first time. Again, give her a round of applause because it takes a lot to get behind this mic. So, again, I wasn't going to come up here, but I got to redeem myself because I kind of made some mistakes at first time. That's not how I roll. So, hopefully, hopefully, I'm going to make it through this one. Right. So, I'm going to do something a little different from the norm. <clears throat> I'm sitting here at this desk, anticipating a few minutes when I get off to see you. My time is your time, and your time is my time. Every time I'm thinking about you, soft kisses, love bonding, mixes what we touch. Girl, I'm sitting here hitting control, alt, delete on the computer because a brother in a rush. I should have just turned it off, but I miss you this much, plus a little secret. I continue to have this little crush on you. 
holding my arms out as wide as I can because you're my lady and I know I'm your man. Plus, I love you. You said, what if I show instead of tell about the things I like to do, like taking a walk in the park after dark or holding you tight because I love you so true? I'm very aware what this means to you, like rubbing your feet before you fall asleep, before you have to say a peep to me. Because as your man, I should automatically know what your body wants to do, like rubbing your shoulders after I'm loading your thighs, and the more and more I caress your soft ass skin, girl, we anticipate the sun to rise.